Another early proposal I've been interested in is out of order HTML patching and how it can be used for declarative partial updates to pages. Okay, what am I on about? Usually in HTML, you put content in logical order, but sometimes you would like it to be the other way around in the source, maybe because the nav requires some database calls and you know you can deliver the footer faster than the nav. You could just flip them around and use CSS to ensure they appear in the correct place, but that isn't always possible or easy to do while keeping the order ideal for screen readers and keyboard navigation. Framework authors have been asking for some way to resolve this without script for their initial server renders. Here's how the proposal looks. Instead of having content there for the nav, it'd be empty or some kind of loading state. Then we have a template element with this proposed content method attribute. This indicates that the content will be used to update other parts of the page. So if I match the two navs up using content name and content for, the parser will be redirected to replace the loading nav. Where this gets really interesting is how it interacts with HTML setting methods, such as stream HTML and safe, which I covered in my last video. Let's say I want to update my page to display some article. I fetch my include file and I pipe it into the body element. But my include file can make use of these new templates. As a result, it doesn't replace the whole body. It can decide which parts to target. This allows you to create some simple forms of SPA with streaming without needing a framework. This proposal is being driven by Google, but at Mozilla, we've already been looking at the HTML parser and proposing changes to make it fit in with the security model of the web. I also pointed out that there needs to be some way to skip replacement in cases where the content is conceptually the same, such as two pages where the nav is identical. Performing a replacement in this case is unnecessary work, but it would also reset the state of things like details elements, which isn't great. So they're looking at incorporating some kind of revision ID to avoid replacement in those cases. It's still an early proposal, but it's one I'm keeping my eye on because it seems really cool. Let's see where it goes.